All right, we're at day two of excavation. So he's uh, wrapping up the pool now. So we got it down to six feet. So this is the deep end. We got it uh, five meters across. The pool's gonna be four meters, but we got it extra wide just so they can put the forms in. It's been a hell of a dig because uh, there's a lot of stone in here. It's all shale and bedrock and granite, blue granite. I saw a green granite uh, and then regular stones. And there's some red stones, which I'm not sure what the red is. I don't know if that's like clay or whatever, but uh, it's been a hell of a dig. But he's got it, he's got it here. That's the big rock that I showed yesterday. And uh, you can see that only, it uh, might totally be uh, covered because uh, we're going up. We're gonna go up here about two feet uh, to try to level it with that. So it, uh, it slopes about two feet down. So we're gonna use all that dirt and all this to bring up grade about two feet to have it all level. So uh, this is the, the pool area. He's just wrapping up the initial dig. So he should have that done here in the next half hour. So. So uh, we will be able to say that the uh, the outline of the pool is done, and then we're going to start working on uh, this afternoon uh, or late this morning. Uh, all these rocks. We're going to start. That's my guy over there, Jernell. He's a good worker, so he's going to start uh, helping getting all these rocks out of here. We did create a little highway uh, down here that goes to the ravine. So, I mean, the, cow, the cow's in the way, so uh, we're gonna have to get the cow out of there, but we will drive uh, the excavator right down to there, and there's a, like a 30 foot, 40 foot ravine. So that's where all the rocks are gonna go. So you can see we got a big pile of rocks right there. We got rocks all through here. There's a rock wall. All these rocks are gonna go down the ravine today. And we're gonna clean up. 50% uh, of the property will have cleaner rocks today. That's the goal. Get all these rocks out of here by 6 p.m. So uh, that'll be, uh, we'll call that the end of day two. So the end of day two is we'll have all the rocks clear, the front 50% of the property, and we have the pool dug. Uh, we wanted to get the pool situated first because we knew there was going to be so many rocks. Um, and, and such a hard dig, we had to position it. Like I said yesterday, we moved the pool about three meters just because of all the, uh, the big rocks that we encountered. But we got lucky. We had some big ones in there, but, uh, he got them out. They were, they were manageable. They do break up, as you can, you know, kind of see as he's wrapping up. As he's scraping it, they break up into pieces. So we got lucky. Uh, that big school bus there, that never would break up. I mean, that, that thing is giant and it's solid. So we didn't want to even mess with that. So that's why we moved the pole. Makes sense. So looks pretty good. Happy with, uh, the progress. Um, this is day, day two of excavation. Um, who knows how long it's going to take. We have, we have this for a week. A week, uh, here is considered six work days. They're doing uh, actual 10 hours. It's 11 hour a day, but it's an hour lunch. So it's a 10 hour actual work day. So 60 hours is uh, considered a work week. Uh, so that's what we have this for. I mean, we can go over if we want, but obviously we're gonna try not to because of the, uh, of the cost. But uh, so far so good, it's going well. Uh, we got Jernell, um, who is the uh, helper here that uh, works for me. He's going to be here throughout the whole project, uh, doing all the odd jobs, and keeping an eye on things. Uh, he lives up in the jungle back there, about maybe 100, 100 meters. He has uh, a bamboo hut up there that he lives in. And uh, then we got Raymart. Raymart is the excavator. Uh, operator, he's uh, he's really good at what he does. He uses the machine uh, very well. He's obviously been doing it for a while. He's a young guy. I didn't ask him how old he was. I'll ask, but I'm going to say he's no more than 25. Uh, but he's real good at what he does, and he doesn't stop. He just takes an hour for lunch, and 
that's it. So, day two, um, I'll give uh, some more updates once uh, this gets done and we start moving all the rocks. I think that's going to take time uh, just because of the travel distance. It's probably 90 meters to the ravine and then 90 meters back. Um, and he can only obviously take so many rocks at a time, so that's that's going to take all day. But I'd like to get at least 50% of the land clear of rocks on day two, and then we can worry about the other 50% uh, day three. Uh, so moving right along. You can see there's the boss. Uh, it's rainy today. Um, we've been here in uh, Negros for three weeks. Has not rained once in three weeks. During the day, we do get some showers at night, but it has not rained in three weeks. But yesterday afternoon, it rained on day one of excavation, so we got soaking wet. And then now day two, uh, we were here at 7 o'clock, and it was sprinkling, and it's sprinkling now. So there's my luck. Uh, again, uh, we've been here three weeks, and it's been sunny skies for three weeks in a row. Not one drop of rain in three weeks. And uh, it was a little monsoon yesterday, yesterday afternoon. And uh, we got soaked on the way home because we had the scooter. And uh, that's just the way it goes. But uh, I guess the good news is when it's cloudy, it's cooler. So uh, this actually feels pretty good. I, I